Hi friends, this is Alvaro with the channel Uniquely Mary, and the other day with my wife I watched Matt Walsh's documentary, What is a Woman? It's probably been out for years. I don't know how long it's been out, but man, that is something super good and several insights and kind of streams of thought for me that came from it that I want you to know about. And the first one is this, and that's what I want to focus on in today's video, is Satan's end game. When you watch that documentary and you see him interviewing all these different people asking them, what is a woman? Here's what would really happen if you were to interview the whole world, that this is a huge question that people have lost the answer to. I remember when I had my conversion back in 2003, I saw this problem leading to where it is right now. And this is what I remember speaking with a friend about, that the issue of homosexuality and now what's become the transgender issue will be the beginning of the persecution of Christians. That is Satan's endgame. He wants to kill us. One thing to be aware of, first of all, is that whenever you see large groups of people changing their thoughts and moving in certain directions, humans aren't that smart. That's not us. That's not a singer or an influencer or a politician that's doing that. That's something happening on the spiritual realm. And those are the demons moving large groups of people like sheep to believe certain things. Now, let me use another example from history that we're all very familiar with, Nazi Germany. We are too dumb to have come up with that. And the interesting thing is Satan, he, he doesn't care about the Germans or the Nazis. He didn't care about them. He didn't care about Hitler. They were just a pawn. What he cared about was killing the Jews along with other religious groups. That's all that he wanted. He could have used any other excuse, any other thing happening at the time. He just happened to use that. It's as if the whole nation was possessed. People that go back and study this kind of now start saying about this group think and these sort of, that they realize that it's something really strange. They're not able to put the finger on the truth. It was demonic for sure. And it led to the killing of all those Jews, the, the six million Jews and all those other groups. That's exactly what Satan is wanting to do right now. He doesn't care about transgender people. He doesn't care about the media. He's just using it to do something. It's like he's playing chess and he's, you know, if you know really well how to play chess, you know how to sacrifice all these pieces to get the other person's queen and then eventually to get the king. You don't care about the pieces you sacrifice on the way there. They're not important. Neither does the devil care about all these pieces that he's moving to get to what he wants, which is to murder you and you and I and to put us in a place where we have to make a decision and he knows that he's been making us weak and many of us will defect and deny the faith. That's what he wants. A lot of people persecuted, 90% of them denying the faith, dragging them into hell, and then 10% killing them off and punishing them through martyrdom. This is his plan. One thing that we need to be aware of is it's useless to be afraid, but this is simply something that's happening. You can see its progression. So we need to stop and not be afraid and ask, what can we do? Well, we need to take the advice of apparitions like Fatima and realize that this is not set in stone. This is where it's going, but it doesn't have to be where it goes. And that we can, through reparation and penance and sacrifice, the same old formula, you don't have to change it, to change the course of history. They failed for World War II, so it is possible to fail. God did not want that to happen. God does not want this coming persecution to happen, but it will, and that's where it's going. And, and all of you know that, you know that. I'm not telling you something you don't know. I'm just affirming it, but I'm calling you to believe in the power of prayer and sacrifice to change the course of history. That's the first thing you need to do. The second thing you need to do is have a plan. I was speaking with my wife and we were saying, what happens if that type of persecution comes to this country? What would we do? I told her I would move to El Salvador where I'm from. I would move. That would be my plan because I wouldn't want to put my family in harm. So we started talking about that. Will I actually do that? I don't know, but at least we're talking about the idea and we're thinking like many Jews that left Germany, they planned, they thought about it, they saw what was coming, they left. I'm telling you, you should do the same. Have a plan. Now, if you want to stick it out and be here and be a martyr, then do that. But be ready. Don't just let that happen. Let that be the plan that you have in place. But something is coming and people are aware of that. And we need to not be afraid. People sometimes think that I'm trying to scare them. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to inform you so that you are not afraid when it comes. It's actually what I'm doing to give you a chance to think about it, to see Satan's plan, to not be stupid. He is planning this, he is doing this, he's behind all those people, but God is always more powerful. Trust in the power of prayer and sacrifice. Believe that the one in you is greater than the one in the world. 
That is so true. And have faith. Have faith in Jesus. Keep the Blessed Mother by your side at all times and use the army of the souls in purgatory, as I've said before. My friends, I hope this made you think. Go check out that documentary. And if you liked this video, there's another set of ideas that I kind of want to share with you in regards to that documentary, What is a Woman? Leave comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.